Thanks everyone for joining us for our One Island Giving Day training. We're here to talk today about how you can get started, get up and running for the campaign. So whether you have participated uh, last year or this is your first year, uh, we'll cover a number of things that you need to know to get started, get your page built, uh, and some of the key basics to consider when building out your One Island Giving Day campaign. My name is Bethany. I work with Mighty Cause, and I this is my second year working with the One Island Giving Day team, um, helping to uh, support this event. Um, Mighty Cause, for anyone not familiar, is the technology partner that um, works with the One Island Giving team to help um, support this event. So your uh, page that you'll be building for your nonprofit is using the Mighty Cause technology. We have been around since 2006. Uh, you may have recognized our previous name, Razu, for anyone who participated last year. Um, and really, we are a full service provider of software tools for nonprofits, everything from year round donation page uh, for your website, team fundraising, peer to peer fundraising, and then, of course, these really exciting giving days, which are an opportunity to bring the whole community together for a single cause. And that's really what brings all of us here today to talk about One Island Giving Day. So, of course, this is year two of this exciting initiative in the local area. Um, last year, there were over 100 nonprofits that participated, uh, and we're expecting to have the same amount or even more participate this year. Um, this event is really all about building capacity and raising awareness for Long Island area nonprofits. And so one of the great ways that this event builds capacity is through trainings like this one today. There is another training later on in the month of September. There's also resources available. And the, the One Island Giving Day team is doing uh, lots of great work locally to connect with partners, both corporate partners and media partners to help spread the word about this campaign and all of the amazing local nonprofits that are participating. Something that we'll talk about a little more in the next training is some of the great prize opportunities available. So, of course, um, each nonprofit can participate in Long Island Giving or in One Island Giving Day to raise funds for their organization. And so everything we'll cover today is all that you can do to prepare a campaign for your nonprofit to raise funds for this event. But as a part of that effort, you also have access to win additional prize funds that are unrestricted funds that you have the potential to walk away with uh, extra, make a bigger impact with your Giving Day campaign. So those prizes, the details are available on the website. For those of you that are familiar and participated last year, maybe had the chance to win some of those prizes, whether they were hourly prizes or prizes on a leaderboard uh, based on the full day of participation. There's lots of exciting prizes available and we'll cover those more in the next training. Um, and there's also a Love Them All Fund. This is a, a helpful um, way that the One Island Giving Day team is helping to give back even more to participating nonprofits. Aside from those prizes, which each group is eligible to win, there is also a Love Them All Fund so that donors can make a donation uh, that will be spread among all participating nonprofits for those donors that really want to support the community and are looking for uh, a, a general way to contribute. May, they may not have a specific cause that they want to give to, but they want to support the event. So through that, there's lots of opportunities, both those prizes and Love Them All Fund, in order to um, raise more funds and walk away with more funds for your organization at the end of this campaign. So definitely something to keep in mind to consider as you build out your strategy, how can you take advantage of some of these additional opportunities? So now we'll get into uh, the meat of what you need to do to get started, get your page up and running, and build your campaign. So the first step is to register your nonprofit to participate. Hopefully some of you that are on today's call have already done that. For anyone that has not, that is your very first step when you get off today's webinar. 
go to oneislandgiving.org and you'll see a big blue button that says register right on the top of the page. Click on that button and you'll have the opportunity to fill out a very short form to register your organization to participate and also get you access to your organization's page on the platform if you don't already have access. You should be approved very quickly after you submit that form. And then once you are an administrator for your organization, if you have another individual, maybe an accountant, a board member, a volunteer that also needs to have access to your page, you can always add or remove any administrators that should have access to your organization's page as well. But that first step is definitely getting registered. So uh, definitely the first step to take when you get off today's webinar if you're not already registered. And uh, just a quick note, even if you participated last year, you do still have to register again this year. So once you're registered, you'll have access to your organization's page on the platform. And what we'll cover now is how you can navigate that platform, what you have access to, to manage your organization, set up your page, and get everything ready to accept donations for this event. So the first thing that you'll see is that you have access to a dashboard, what we call your Mighty Cause Manager, on the left-hand side of your organization's page when you log into the platform. So down that dashboard, you'll see a handful of icons that let you access all the most important things that you will need to update your page and to manage your account. So the first at the very top is your home screen. This is where you can quickly catch up on key metrics uh, from uh, visitors, donations to your page. You can access a to-do list, which will help you with some of the most important things to get completed on your page. Just a, a quick uh, hello, a quick refresher every time you log, on, log into your account through that welcome and home screen. Next, down the dashboard, you'll see access to your profile. This is your nonprofit's page that you have access to customize for One Island Giving Day. So through that profile, you'll access the page that you'll be sending out to supporters and donors. This is where you can add photos and videos and text to encourage donors to make a donation. Next, down that dashboard, you'll see a donations icon, a dollar sign to access all of this uh, information here. This is through this tab, you can access your donation report, uh, any donor data, you can access disbursement reports from any uh, checks or EFT disbursements that you receive from uh, this campaign. You also have the opportunity through this tab to customize the donor experience with some questions, uh, additional donor data that you can turn on or off. Uh, as well as the ability to add a matching grant to your page. So lots of great stuff can happen through that dollar sign donations screen. Next screen you'll see is a campaigns screen. This is where you can navigate and manage any fundraising efforts that have been started for your organization, whether you have started a fundraiser for a project or initiative as related to One Island Giving Day, or if you've decided to engage any board members or volunteers to start peer-to-peer -peer fundraising campaigns on behalf of your organization for One Island Giving Day, you'd be able to access and see all of those campaigns through that campaign screen and get the information you need to contact those individuals, follow up with them, see how they're performing. And the last icon you'll see is your settings icon. This is the gears that you'll see on that dashboard right at the very bottom. This is where you can manage your overall presence for uh, the campaign. So you can do some high level settings like signing up for EFT disbursement, uh, customizing your URL and your social share settings, adding or removing administrators to your account. So that's your very brief overview. And now we'll dig into some of the most important uh, steps at each of those, um, through each of those icons and what you'll really need to have access to, uh, to manage your page. So first, we'll be customizing your profile. As I mentioned already, this is really the um, key screen 
the key page that you'll be sharing with supporters and donors to make their donation for the giving day. So this is the one that's really important to invest time in adding photos, videos, customizing the look and feel uh, to really make this page shine. You're gonna do a lot of work through email and social media to get people to this page to make a donation. So you wanna make sure when they do get to this page, they're seeing that same messaging that they've been seeing on email and social um, and really encouraging them to make that donation. This is where you get to tell the story, continue telling the story, hopefully that you've started in email and social about why your organization makes an impact, why donors should make a gift to your organization as a part of One Island Giving Day. So you've got lots of options within this profile to edit and customize and make it yours. So the first option you'll have access to right at the very top of the page is the ability to edit your theme. This is where you can customize the look and feel of your page and you don't have to be a graphic designer, you don't have to be a web developer to play around with the design and really make it work for your organization. So the first thing will be to upload a logo for your organization. It does need to be a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Uh, so that's your square logo that you're seeing right here in the center of the page. If you don't have access or you're, you're having trouble finding one, the logo that your organization uses for Facebook or Twitter will already be one-to-one -one aspect ratio. You can reuse that. You also have the ability to upload a background image. So that's that really fun image that you're seeing right behind the iTry logo in this example I've shown here. You can upload a image of um, really anything, whether it's landscape or context uh, for the work that your organization does, uh, people that your organization serve. It's really more to just help situate the donor when they arrive on this page to remind them of the impact that your organization has. So you can upload an image, or if you don't have an image or you're working on getting one, you can select one from our existing gallery. You can also choose a filter strength and a color to go over that background image. So if you wanna, if it's a really bright image, you can add a filter to, um, to allow your logo to kind of pop a little more off that image. And you can also set a theme color for the page so that uh, wherever you're seeing that donate button and any headers as you go through your page, you can pick a color that um, aligns within your logo and your branding so that again, uh, donors coming to your page are really identifying with your organization. So next, moving down the page, you, you'll have access to a story section. And this story section is really the meat of the page where you get to share content uh, that will get donors excited about making their donation. So you'll have an inline editor, which means you're staying right on the page, making edits as you see how the content is shaping up. So you can add all kinds of formatting, headers, bullets, numbers, uh, you can add images, videos, text, um, links, all of these things that you can add here are really gonna make for a more dynamic story so that a donor doesn't come to your page and just see one long block of text and their eyes glaze over and they don't actually read any of it. You can bold certain things, you can add bullet points for emphasis for certain um, messages, uh, that are important to your organization. So lots of opportunity uh, to really make this section dynamic and wherever possible use photo or video to help tell the story for you. And also just a quick note, you do have access to an additional tab, a custom tab if you'd like. So some organizations use this main story tab to tell the key information about why you should donate to this organization as a part of One Island Giving Day. And you have access to an additional tab if, for example, you wanna share volunteer opportunities, upcoming events, wanna share uh, some more detail about your organization. The custom tab is really helpful and useful if you have additional information that you wanna share with people, but you don't wanna distract away from the key message on this main story section, which should be the impact that your organization has and why a donor should make their gift. <clears throat> 
Moving further down the page, you will have the option to add media and integrate your social media right into your profile page. So first you'll have access to a media gallery. You can add images from your Facebook, Instagram, right from your computer, Dropbox. You can upload images right to that media gallery. You also have the ability to connect your Instagram account directly so that when you add a new image on Instagram, your page is automatically updated on the One Island Giving Day platform to have that most recent Instagram photo included. Great way to keep this page dynamic without having to come back and update it every week or as often as you update Instagram. And finally, you do have the option uh, to optimize your social share settings. This is something you can access uh, as I mentioned earlier through the settings tab on your dashboard. Uh, you can uh, update the image as well as the share text that is associated with your organization's link whenever it is shared on Facebook or Twitter, for example. So now that we're through the main uh, meat of the actual page that you want to update and customize to tell a powerful story, we'll walk through some of the other additional features that you have, again, referenced earlier. Uh, to, to make sure you know where to access all the most important information for this campaign. So of course, donation information is super important and critical. You could access that at any time through your donations tab. This uh, will be a real-time donations report that you can at any time log in and see a full history of any donations that have been made. You'll also receive, any admins will receive an email notification when a donation is made. If you'd like to turn those notifications off, if you're having the great problem of getting too many donations and you wanna turn that notification off, you can certainly do that. But you should by default receive one of those email notifications anytime a donation is made. And you can always log into your account to uh, access and then download a full detailed donation report. When you come to this donations report, you'll see a couple of the key uh, pieces of data about each donation right on the screen, but then you can always download your report to access all of the information like the billing address or anything else associated with the donation. So if you look at your screen and you're not seeing address, don't be concerned. You can definitely download the report and you should have access to all of the relevant donor information that you have selected to receive. Uh, in your donor experience tab, which we'll cover in just a moment. As for disbursements, um, our preferred disbursement method is to encourage organizations to sign up for electronic funds transfer. In that case, we can send your disbursements twice a month directly via direct deposit. Um, if you don't sign up for direct deposit, which is free, uh, you will receive a check once a month uh, so, for example, any donations received in the month of October, you would receive around the 10th of November, uh, but there is a $5 fee associated with that uh, paper check. So we encourage everyone to sign up for direct deposit, save on that check fee, receive your funds more quickly. Also, um, cut down on the opportunity for the check to get lost in the mail, any of that stuff that can slow down the funds getting to you. And of course, uh, right here in this uh, through this donation screen you also have access to a disbursement tab which will have all the disbursement history for you so anytime you receive a disbursement from uh, mighty cause associated with the one island giving day campaign you can log in access a disbursement report so that you can reconcile the exact amount that you received with any of the donations that it corresponded to through the platform one thing to keep in mind is that you do have the opportunity to add any offline gifts to your page. So this is an online giving day and many of the donations that you likely receive through the campaign will be online donations made right through that page that you've customized and sent out by email and social media. But you may have some donors that either prefer to give offline or come into your office directly to give a check, they mail a check, um, or if you're hosting an event and somebody gives cash, you do have the opportunity to add that offline donation to your page 
so that your total on your organization page as a part of this event reflects all the giving uh, that has happened during the day. So you can access this right through your donations report. You'll see a little plus sign with uh, some text that says add offline donation. And you'll have the opportunity to add the donation amount and the name of the donor if you'd like to include that and add that right to your page. Um, one note to keep in mind is that offline gifts will not count for leaderboard totals or any prizes for the day, but it's still a great way to make sure that your campaign in particular, as well as the full One Island Giving Day campaign, is fully representing all the different types of giving that are happening as a part of the event. So also accessible through that donation screen is the ability to customize the donor experience. So through this tab, you'll have the option to customize the experience, turn on and off some fields to collect data. You can preview the donation experience. So say that you've chosen that you want to collect address or you want to collect phone number from your donors when they're making their donation. Once you have finalized the process and the experience that you want for your donors, you can click on that blue button that says view checkout and you can sample the donation experience for them. So this is a great way for you to ensure that you know exactly what that experience looks like for donors. It's also something that you can share with maybe an executive director or board members if they're wondering what the donation experience looks like. You can always preview it through that button. You have the option, as I mentioned, to uh, select what donor data you want to collect. You also can set custom donation suggestions. So for example, a $25 donation buys one week of food for an animal, or a $50 donation provides um, one classroom with school supplies, or whatever it might be that's, that's the impact that your organization can have. By setting those custom donation suggestions, you can reinforce the impact that you have started to share on your page, in your emails and social media, uh, but also encourage donors to give at those uh, levels. Finally, um, you also have access to a post checkout donor experience tab. This is where you can build a thank you page that donors will see as soon as they complete their donation. Similar to the story page, you have options for great formatting, you can add a video right here on this thank you page. You can even add a specific link uh, that you want donors to be directed to. So if after they make their donation, you want them to be directed uh, to your blog or uh, back to your website, uh, upcoming events, uh, you can enter a link um, and customize the text on the button that will link to that uh, source and give donors the option to kind of continue the experience as it's related to your organization. So I mentioned matching grants briefly earlier. This is, of course, a really important way uh, to amplify your campaign for One Island Giving Day. You have lots of options to uh, build and integrate a matching grant into your page as well as into your overall campaign. So through the platform, you have a display feature to allow you to add any matching grant that you secure right to your page. So you don't have to, the donor doesn't have to pay their match through the platform. It's completely on your organization to manage that relationship and the experience with that matching donor. But when you are able to secure a match, you have the benefit of adding that match to your page which will add an icon to the donate button saying that there is a matching grant available. And it will also add a, a countdown timer and a dollar amount counting down right on the page to let donors know that there is an active match and how, how many dollars are left available as a part of that match. Uh, donors love to have the opportunity to increase their impact by giving to an organization that has a match, double their donation, triple their donation, um, so it's a really great way to add extra urgency and excitement to your campaign. So uh, consider if there is a, maybe your board of directors, a corporate partner that's given to you in the past, 
maybe a major donor that's planning to give at some point later on in the year and you could encourage them to make their gift early as a match for this campaign. It's a really great way to increase your impact. And there's a lot of flexibility within the tool. If you wanna have a one-to-one -one dollar for dollar match or a two-to-one match, three-to-one match, all different kinds of ways that you can display your match functionality to really make this work for you. And then of course, once you have a match and you've promoted it on your, camp, on your page, it's really important to also promote it in your emails and social media so that all of the potential supporters see that there is this additional opportunity to have an impact. Uh, the last icon on your dashboard is, of course, your settings tab. This is where you can add or remove admins. You can update any legal information associated with your organization, set up your EFT disbursement, customize the social share experience that we discussed earlier, and the URL for your page. So lots of important high-level settings that you can access and manage there. So now we've walked through all of the basics of updating your page for your organization, as well as where you can access all of the most important uh, things that you might wanna access to really manage the overall process, manage the overall campaign. So now we're gonna take a few minutes to talk through some campaign strategy. So again, whether this is your first year participating in this event or you participated last year, there's a couple of key things that you can keep in mind when it comes to building out a strategy that's really going to be successful for your organization. So the first one is to use existing resources that we have available. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, one of the key goals of this campaign is to build capacity for local nonprofits. And one of the great ways that the One Island Giving Day team has done that is by preparing all kinds of great resources that you can use to help make your campaign planning easier, quicker, and more effective. Each organization shouldn't have to reinvent the wheel entirely, but use some of the resources that have been created for you and just customize them to meet the needs of your own organization. So first, of course, there are training opportunities available like this one today and the upcoming training later this month that will dig even deeper into some strategy focused efforts. Um, on the nonprofit toolkit, you'll also find uh, tips for certain fundraising strategies, social media, um, FAQs and basic how to's. You can access uh, templates for email and social media as well as uh, logos um, that you can use to build into your One Island Giving Day campaign to make sure that you're on brand and also really uh, taking advantage of those existing assets that have already been created for you. One of the other uh, really important um, strategy tips to keep in mind is securing early donations. So, of course, One Island Giving Day is a 24-hour focused giving event, and all of the giving will happen, um, a lot of the giving will happen, of course, within that 24-hour period. But it's important to know that people can start donating in advance of the event. They can start donating as of today, and those donations will be processed today, but they will count for your organization's leaderboard totals as a part of the event. So this is a great way to either, if you've got uh, donors and supporters that might not be available or out of town, busy on the day of the event, you can secure their donation early. But it's also a nice way to build momentum in advance of the event, contact a few key supporters, get them to come on and make an early donation to seed your campaign so that when the giving day kicks off and you're sending all your emails and social posts to your page, you've already got uh, at least a good base of donations that have been made in advance. There's also, uh, as we'll talk about in our next training, a few prizes that are available uh, based on some of this early activity. Uh, so aside from setting your own campaign up for success, you might have access to some additional uh, prizes. And just like on the Giving Day itself, 
you'll be able to see any donations made right through your donations report and you will receive these notifications. So one of the best ways to make this campaign successful for your organization is to activate ambassadors to support your efforts. So a lot of the uh, work that goes into this campaign, a lot of the outreach will be done by your organization directly. Your marketing coordinator, your development director, your executive director, whoever it is that's, that's taking the lead, uh, will we'll draft emails, social media, posts, uh, to really get the word out about this campaign. But your existing donor database only goes so far. So one of the great ways that you can grow your network is through activating ambassadors. And One Island Giving Day is a really great focused opportunity with good focused call to action that you can give to these ambassadors to get them to help you spread the word. So there's lots of different ways an individual or even a group of individuals can be an ambassador for your cause. They can share your posts on social media. They can send an email to their friends and family with a link to your page. They can share their story about uh, how they have been impacted directly by your organization. They could host an event, a happy hour on behalf of your organization, or they can start a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser for your organization. So through the platform, individuals or groups of individuals could start a fundraiser on behalf of your organization as a part of this giving day. This is a really great call to action for somebody like a board of directors or really close volunteer and supporter to start their own fundraising campaign. It gives them access to their own page that they can tell their story. And then they then share that page with their friends, families, colleagues, whomever, and invite them to make a donation. So all of those donations, of course, go directly to your organization. You have access to all of the data about anyone who's donated through one of these peer-to-peer -peer pages. So it's a really great way to expand your network because you may not have a volunteer's mother's email address, but by asking her to be an ambassador for your cause, she will activate her whole network to support your organization. It's a really great way to grow your base, both for One Island Giving Day and, of course, beyond. Aside from any of those efforts that you can engage ambassadors to spread the word, of course, there's a lot that your organization will want to do to spread the word for your campaign. So it's important to consider all the different channels that you have access to, whether it's email marketing, um, a newsletter that you send out either via email quarterly or maybe it's a mail newsletter, uh, your social media, and that's all channels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you have followers, wherever your followers are really looking for your information and engaging with you. Of course, your website is a great channel to consider. So when you uh, are building out your page, you do have access to a widget that can be embedded on your website to accept donations right there. So whether or not you embed the widget on your website for your page, it's important to make sure that if, if a donor does get to your organization's web page during this campaign, and most particularly on One Island Giving Day, they see the opportunity, they see the message that will allow them to participate, to get involved, to make a gift. So think about all the different channels you have access to, where do your followers hear from you, and make sure that you use all of those different channels to communicate. And it, I mentioned it earlier, but it's important to make sure that the message is consistent across those channels. Many of your donors will hear from you in multiple different ways. They may follow you on social media and receive your emails. So it's important that they're hearing a consistent message about your organization, your impact, and what you're fundraising for during this campaign. That's gonna really help make it clear and reinforce to them why they should contribute, why they should be involved. Another opportunity to really increase your return and engagement on any of the outreach efforts that you are having for the campaign will be to segment your communications by donor group. So 
you may have one big list of all the email addresses that you've captured over time, over the years, supporting your organization. But each of those emails, each of those people is not the same. You may have some that have given to you every year for the last five years. You may have some that give you the give to your organization once a month, some that have attended events but have never made a donation, uh, some that volunteer on a regular basis. All of these individuals, all of these personas are different um, in their involvement with your organization. So you increase the engagement and the return on your emails if you speak to donors based on their involvement. So create a segment of donors that give to you on a recurring basis and send email messaging that's a little different to them than you might to somebody who's never made a gift. It's important for people that have made a gift to you in the past or as a recurring gift throughout the year, you acknowledge that contribution, that effort, that commitment, but still share with them the opportunity. Your ask might be a little different, might be worded a little different than somebody who's never made a gift and you're using this campaign as a chance to convert them from an attendee, a social media follower to a donor. So think about some of the key segments that you have access to. You don't have to have 25 segments and, and manage all these different emails for the event, but think about some key segments that really make sense um, to, uh, to really build out your email strategy. Of course, planning and scheduling in advance whenever possible, especially with the giving day, um, there's a lot of fun activity happening on the day itself. Uh, you'll have donors making a donation. You'll have people commenting on social media. Lots of really fun stuff happening. So by planning your emails in advance, planning your social media posts in advance, you'll save yourself, your staff, any volunteers, um, give them the opportunity on the day of giving itself to really be responsive to the conversation that's happening. If you're getting a lot of activity and comments on social media, your staff will have the time to engage back with those donors, thank those donors, share what they're saying about your organization. Take on additional activities to really amplify your efforts on the day of giving itself. You know, for those that participated last year, sometime in the middle of the day, pulling a list of everyone who gave last year but hasn't given this year and do personal follow-up to those people. By planning in advance, you give yourself time on the giving day to be responsive and adapt uh, to, to really additional strategies and tools that will help raise more funds overall. Um, and finally, it's important to remember in every communication, no matter what channel it is, always make sure you have a really clear call to action and a link to your page. The most compelling social media post without a link or a specific request to make a donation is not really going to lead anywhere. So make sure once you do plan out your schedule and you start to prep those emails, do a quick audit to make sure that the, the donation button is always really clear, simple, easy to click on both on mobile for your emails and on desktop. Of course, we know everyone is on their phones all the time. Way over 50% of emails are opened on somebody's mobile device. So make sure you test your emails on mobile to make sure that it's really easy for people to click on that donate button. Once they get to your page, Everything on the platform is fully mobile optimized. It's really easy for donors to navigate your page and make their gift on mobile. But if they're coming from email, you've got to make sure that email experience is just as mobile friendly. So once you have the time to really put that plan together, you'll give yourself the opportunity to do that additional testing on mobile and desktop, test with different subject lines, all different kinds of things you can do to make sure that on the day of giving itself, you have the most engaged and successful uh, communications that you can. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for questions. So if you um, have had any questions throughout, I'll take a look at the questions on the right-hand um, control panel. If you have thought of any questions, you can feel free to type them in there now. Um, if you do have any questions that come up after today's webinar, as you start planning out your campaign, building out your page, you can always contact support at mightycause.com. 
and uh, one of our support representatives will be happy to help answer your question, help you figure out how to really make your uh, page stand out and work for you. So uh, it doesn't look like we have any questions yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let everyone get off to the rest of their day. Uh, again, this recording will be available on the One Island Giving website. And any questions that come up between now and One Island Giving Day, you can feel free to contact us at support at mightycause.com. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.